Hi boys and girls, thanks for tuning in and clicking on. I'm Cowboy Alex and we're here to read some stories and have some fun. I have a helper who's going to help us read stories. His name is Baba Louie. He lives in the cactus house right here and I will ring the doorbell and he will come running out here and say hello to you guys and gals. So here we go. I'll ring this red doorbell right here. And I hear him coming up the stairs. He's coming up here. And oh, the door fell off. Must be windy in here. I'll put that back. Let's try that again. Now I'll do the yellow. Let's see, here we go, yellow. And I bet Baba Louie will come out here now and say hello. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, the door fell off again. Hmm, what is going on here with all this wind and the loose door? Let me put that back, okay, and now let me try the uh, blue one here, let's see. I hope he comes out this time because we are running out of time. Oh, there he is, Baba Louie, how are you doing? Oh, I'm okay. Are you all ready to have some fun today? Yes, I am. Okay, do you want to get us something to read? All right, I'll do that. All right, he's going to go and get us something to read. Here he comes. What is that? A snowman. Do you read a snowman? No, you don't read a snowman. Put that back. Come on, get us something to read. I like a book. That's what we want, a book to read. That's what you're supposed to read, books. What is that? It's like a truck. It's a special truck. It's a snow plow truck. You don't read a snow plow truck. Put that back. Oh, Baba Louie. Come on. Bring us something to read. What is this? Another snowman. Do you read a snowman like that? No, you don't, Baba Louie. Put that back. We're looking for a book. Put that back. Whoa, that's tight. But anyway, all this talk about snowmen and snow, that reminds me of a story about a snowman. It's called Snow Party. So everybody sit back and relax while we read this book called Snow Party. Here we go. The snow had been falling quietly all night long. There we go, it's nighttime. By morning, a thick blanket of white covered the countryside. It seemed as if nothing existed in the world but beautiful snow. Look at all that snow. Suddenly, as if by magic, snow women, snow men, and snow children began to appear. Some carried bags, some carried boxes. Here is a perfect spot said a snow woman. Look at their sleigh. They have a white reindeer. The snow people began to work, stringing lights, setting up tables, and unpacking bags. What's in the box? A boy in the red cap asked. You'll see soon, said his mother. That's a big box. Sweeping the pond is hard, said a boy with a broom. Right, said his friend, but tonight is going to be so much fun. We're going to have a special party. There they are, working on the pond. 
The musicians carrying all kinds of instruments arrived in the late afternoon. Everything was almost ready. The lights twinkled, the tables were set, the food was prepared, and the dance floor was ready. It looks nice. See the nice lights? And here's a table filled with all different kinds of food. Today is the shortest day of the year, said a snowman wearing a top hat. This is when we celebrate the winter solstice, the first day of winter. And when the first snow of the year falls on the first day of winter, we have a snow party. Everyone clapped and cheered. Hooray for winter, hooray for snow. Look at all those snow people. The snow people ate. What is he eating over here? And they danced. Do, 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 do. When the box was unwrapped, snow white butterflies emerged. They circled round and round. They circled all around the joyful snow people. See the snow butterflies? And then snow began to fall very quietly. The snow fell and fell. It was still falling as the party goers packed up their belongings and went on their way. There they are, they're cleaning up. By morning, a new blanket of white covered the countryside. It was as if the snow people had never been there. But some of us know better. See, you can't see anything left over from the party. But they were there. That's a good story. I like that story. Let's see how Baba Louie liked that story. Baba Louie, come on out here. Did you like that story, Baba Louie? Oh, yes, I really liked it. It was a great story. What was your favorite part, Baba Louie? Well, my favorite part was... <laughs> <coughs> what? What did you say, Baba Louie? I couldn't understand that. What was your favorite part of the story? Well, my favorite part of the story was when they went over to the grocery store and they picked up some eggs and bacon and milk. <coughs> what? I don't remember that part of the story, Baba Louie. I don't think you were listening. Were you listening? Oh, he's saying no, he wasn't listening. Why weren't you listening, Baba Louie? Well, I was busy because I got a new snow blower and I was blowing snow. You were. Can we see your snow blower? Okay. He's going to bring out his snow blower to show us. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice snow blower. Are you going to have you used it? Yeah, I used it while I was uh, while you were reading the story. Oh, that's right. Well, why don't you put that back and go back to blowing some snow? All right. He's going to go and blow some snow. <laughs> oh, I hear it. It's going. Oh, I see snow blowing. Snow is coming out. Oh, yes, a lot of snow. Okay, you can stop now, Baba Louie. Snow's, the snow is all over here. Come out here. Okay, he's gonna come out. He's done blowing the snow. <whistles> ah, Baba Louie, what happened? I got covered by the snow. It looks like all the snow blew all over you. Look at that. 
You better go take a bath and wash all that snow off. All right. Jeez, look at all that. Oh, while Baba Louie is cleaning himself up, I want to show you some other books about snow that you might like to read. Here's one. It's called First Snow. That looks fun. And here's another one. It's called Snow. And this one is about snow, real snow. It's not a story. And I just want to tell you something. Books with facts about snow are found near the Dewey number J551. That's where all the books about weather are in the library. All the books in the library that have facts in them have a number on the side. And you look for that number, and then you can find the book that you're looking for. If you're looking for snow books, you look for number 551. So then you look for a book that has the number 551 on the side, and that would be a book about snow. So that's how you use the library. Let's see how Baba Louie is doing. Baba Louie, did you wash all that snow off? Baba Louie, come back out of here. No, oh, he's not coming out. I better call him up on the phone. Hello, Baba Louie? Yeah. What are you doing? You're taking a bath. Well, I know that, but you gotta come out here. Okay. What? I should look over here by the bathtub? Okay, let me just look for a second. Oh yeah, I see that. It doesn't look good down there. I think it's leaking. Why don't you show all the kids that it's leaking? Oh, it is leaking, yeah. Well, now we see that the bathtub is leaking. Thanks for showing us that, Baba Louie. Well, I gotta go now. I gotta clean up everything. See you later. Well, boys and girls, I think it's time that I have to go. I have to clean all this snow up and clean up the water. So thanks for watching. I'm Cowboy Alex, and we'll see you the next time on Cowboy Alex Storytime. Bye, everybody.